Hello everyone and welcome to .NET Core Central. In today's video, I'm going to discuss about the eye disposable design pattern. Eye disposable design pattern is a pattern used for disposing of unmanaged and managed objects. Now let me explain this going through a demonstration. So first, let's create a project. I'm going to create a console application and I'm going to name it as idisposable.demo. Now, once the project is created, let's consider a situation where we have a service proxy which connects with an external service and makes multiple calls. Now for service proxy, we need to use a HTTP client. An HTTP client is something which has a dispose method implemented, meaning it deals with some unmanaged resources, hence dispose should be called. Now for doing that, let me create a class. Let me name it as service proxy. In a real life scenario, the class name is obviously not going to be service proxy, but it will be something specific like Google search service proxy or something like that. Now let's consider this function has two methods. And for simplicity, I'm keeping that void, but in a real life scenario, they will have some return type. So first one, let's say is get, and second one is post. and then this post expects a string request. Now this service proxy is making external calls so it needs a HTTP client and we can get the HTTP client from the iHTTP client factory. That way we can define all the clients in the client factory and then access it from here. Now HTTP client factory is part of Microsoft.extensions.http. So what we have to do is first we have to add the NuGet package because this is a console application, it is not available out of box. For ASP.NET application, we don't need to add that. So if I say Microsoft.extensions.http and let's install it. Once installed, I can add the namespace system.net.http. Now let's declare a private read-only HTTP client here. And let's initialize it inside of the constructor. So we can say HTTP client equal to HTTP client factory dot create client. So we got the client handler. Now what we can do is we can do a HTTP client dot get async equal to and takes an URL and then here we can do equal to HTTP client dot post async and which takes an URL and an HTTP content and for this one we can give a string content and pass the request as the request string. This is never going to work, but this is just to show how we're going to implement the iDisposable design pattern. Now the HTTP client is what implements a dispose. So one way of doing it is we can call the HTTP client dot dispose here, but the problem with that is if this class is a singleton class, we declare it as a singleton class, then you know if we dispose it off here, the next time when we try to access it in post, it's not going to work. So which means we have to create it every time. The other implementation is you dispose it off in your own dispose method. And that's the design pattern we're going to discuss. For that, we're going to implement the iDisposable interface. Once we implement the iDisposable interface, I need to implement the interface which has one method, which is dispose. Now with dispose, as you can see, it is showing a red squiggly. It is already telling me that I have not implemented the design pattern I disposable. This is something new, which is added in the recent versions of the Visual Studio. This warning was not available earlier. So how do we implement the I disposable design pattern? Now I can click on here and try to implement using show potential fixes, but I'll go with implementing manually so that we can explain one thing at a time. So the best practice is to declare a protected virtual dispose method and why it is protected virtual 
the reason for protected virtual is that if we have a derived class from this class that class can override this function and implement its own implementation and then call the base class at dispose also and this function takes a boolean parameter called disposing and we'll explain in a minute what this disposing is for now here inside of this we want to ensure that if an object is disposed it should not be trying to dispose the disposed object again and again if you know the dispose is called multiple times so we need to protect that and that can be protected via simple variable here so we can declare a private bool disposed and then here inside of this dispose method we can say if disposed if disposed then return otherwise do everything and finally set disposed equal to true so first time when it comes in it will execute but second time onwards it will just return which is the right thing to do and here we are going to call dispose as true now why we are calling dispose as true here it's because we are going to use this variable disposing to determine whether we want to dispose the managed object or an unmanaged object. So if so if it is disposing means when disposing is set to true we are going to dispose managed objects and in our case is the HTTP client dot dispose which will be called here and here we are going to dispose of any other unmanaged objects in our case we are not dealing directly with any unmanaged object we are dealing with HTTP client which internally deals with unmanaged object so now this is what we have implemented the pattern is not complete yet we'll come back first let's see how we are going to use it so inside of this program we can say var service proxy equal to new of service proxy and for the HTTP client factory I'm just going to pass null for the time being and then we can call service proxy dot get and service proxy dot post let me pass an empty string also because service proxy implements are disposable now we can use using here and once we do that this will execute this function and then do something here call the other function and then dispose of and come out and using is nothing but a try finally block the implementation of using is pretty straightforward if I have to do it myself it's basically and then a try and then this whole code and then finally and here service proxy dot dispose this is, this is the internal implementation of using block it's nothing but this now let's get back to the using implementation okay so this is the implementation now one more thing if I just get rid of this I disposable from here you'll see that this will start throwing an error yep it says that you know this is not implementing I disposable so you cannot use it these are some useful warnings we're back in track now this way of using without a brace and without a bracket and curly braces what it was introduced recently with C sharp 8 before that we have to always include a scope with the new syntax the scope is the last line or the top level you know curly braces if we want to dispose it off somewhere here and there are other code here then we'll have to create a scope anyway so back to this function now what if the color of this function forgets to call using doesn't add using just calls like this then this object would never be disposed so the HTTP client will remain you know and will have memory leak potentially so how do you solve that 
To solve that, what we do is we implement something called as a finalizer method, which is also called as destructor in C sharp, but it's essentially a finalizer method. And here we call dispose passing as false. So this is the place where we call with false. Why is it so? Because the finalizer method or this destructor is called by the garbage per collector. And it is called by the garbage collector after the garbage collector has disposed of all managed object. So the destructor has a inherent performance problem because it takes for this object, it would take two cycle of garbage collection to be collected. In the first cycle, it will mark the object for collection. And in the second cycle, it will come and collect the object. So hence, what we want to do is, we want to ensure that if the dispose is already been called, we want to suppress this method. And if you see, the new warning which was introduced already shows it, which is pretty cool. So here, all we have to do is, we have to gc dot suppress finalize and we have to pass this class because this is where we want to suppress the finalize. So we provide this. Now this is the complete implementation of I disposable design button. So essentially we create a protected virtual dispose with disposing as a parameter. And based on if it is true, we collect the manage object and which will be called from the dispose with the true. And if it is false, we don't collect the manage object, we collect only unmanaged object. Whereas if it is true, we are collecting both managed as well as unmanaged object. And if it is already disposed, we don't call it again. And then we call the same protected virtual method disposed with a false from the destructor or the finalized method. Because at that point in time, the managed object would have already been disposed. So we want to dispose only unmanaged object. And also we implement the GC dot suppress finalize inside of the iDisposable method dispose so that if dispose is already called externally, then we, we don't want the garbage collector to go through and try to call finalize on this method. So that's all I wanted to cover today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have been getting value out of my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks so much for watching this video.